Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this video is going to be a little different, a lot different. Um, I kind of want to talk to you about. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Something that I enjoy doing from time to time, but right now I am just so busy. But that doesn't mean that this is not something that you could do in your business. And I still do it from time to time. I actually just recently did this with a dollhouse and I'm going to be coming out with a video about it very soon. Um, just got to get the editing finished. But let me give you an example of sourcing online and flipping those items for more money by parting it out. All right. So that's what we're going to learn about today. So um, I'm going to give you the example on Mercari because that is where I happened to be looking. And first off, I want to show you, um, let me go over here. These are the solds. All right. And this is for precious places Fisher Price. And you can see these are a big money bolo. If you have all the pieces and the parts and it's complete, look for this. This is vintage. It's a harder to find set. Um, I happened upon one of these sets over the summer and it was incomplete. So I parted it out. And we're going to talk about that later in this video, but I definitely want you guys to understand that Precious Places is a bolo. So let's look at some of the different ones. This again is a really big one. It sold for $250. i am over on Mercari. I've been having issues with um, Google Chrome and eBay not allowing me to open the, um, like once I click on it, I get an error. Is anybody else getting that? I don't know if I need to redown my Chrome or what's going on. But I really find that it's easier to look up comps and solds on Mercari anyway, because I know that the item got paid for. I don't have to go and check feedback. Um, I don't have to see if they relisted the item. If it says it sold on Mercari, it's automatic payment. We know it sold. So it is a great place to research. Same with Poshmark. Um, that automatic payment is a fantastic feature of both these platforms. If you're not selling on Mercari or Poshmark, Number one, I highly recommend it. Number two, um, it's also a great place to look for items to buy to resell. And we're going to talk about that. I do have uh, links down below. They are referral links. So if you join Mercari with the link down below, you're going to get $10 to shop. If you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get $20 to shop after you sell $100 worth of stuff. So definitely use that referral link down below awesome free money right and then you can use that free money to buy something to sell yay uh poshmark you only get 10 bucks um when you join okay and both of those referral links are down below if you want to check them out but let's get back to the fisher price precious places so you can see here some of the higher solds but that's not what i'm really here to show you there's other things mixed in here i don't know why i put in precious places but that's one thing about the search um a lot of times people will Keyword spam the description of the video, not of the video, the description of the listing. So if I click on this down in the description, it might say places or precious places or something like that, which is making these show up in the feed, which is kind of frustrating because that is keyword spamming. I don't know if that's the situation here. I didn't go in and look. But basically, I want you to see that if you can find one of these that is complete or near complete, you can get, you know, 80, 100, even $300, 250. That's almost $400 for that one. But I also want to show you over here on Mercari the prices that people are selling things for that they are selling way too low. Um, in my opinion, because they can part it out and make so much more money. Um, right here, this went for $68. Oh my goodness, $75. If I took these and I took the time to part them out, which I don't have time to part things out right now. I did the dollhouse the other day because it is a major bolo. Um, and this one I have sold, we'll talk about that. I'll tell you what I've sold so far. But this one went for 60 for all of this stuff. Each one of these little things you can part out. 
Uh, this one looks like I, it looks like it's in the box. Forty nine dollars. Great price. Another one right here. Forty two dollars. And look at all this for 30 bucks, $29. So you can go over and buy these things on Mercari super cheap because somebody just wants to unload it. And then you can take the time to part it out. 20 bucks for this one. Now, of course, some of these have shipping. So you do have to take that into consideration. Um, but I'm going to show you, oh my goodness, look at this. In the original packaging, $17. Wow. Wow, wow. Um, I priced my items kind of high and I waited on the right buyer. Uh, these are going to be long tail items because you're looking for the collector who is missing a piece and they need a replacement. Look at this. All of this for $10. These little people, these animals, you guys, this right here is incredible. This is a great buy. $10. Wow. In the original packaging. Look at it in the original packaging, $10. I would have priced that way higher. So um, again, you've got hobby sellers on Mercari and sometimes they're not really looking to get the highest dollar amount out of their items. You know, this sold for five bucks. This is just money sitting here waiting to be made. I mean, just incredible. All right, so let's look at... These are the active listings, okay? So you can see this person, okay, they're putting it at $5 plus shipping. That's not too bad. Um, this here is the one that sold. You got a baby in the carriage. So some people are parting some things out and it'll be more long tail. It's gonna take them a little bit longer to sell the items. This one sold, of course it sold for $10 because look, this person has one character, one figure for nine plus shipping. Do you see where I'm going with this? Of course, this already sold because it's brand new in the package from 1988. They sold it for $10. Definitely undersold it. So can you buy on Mercari and flip things? Absolutely. All right. So let me go into my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. And I am going to show you right over here how to part it out. I parted out a play set and I want to talk to you guys about it and share with you a big money bolo, but I also want to share with you how you can make money if something is incomplete. So I'm going to give you some tricks and tips and we are going to get started here. All right. And what I'm going to talk to you about is the precious places, magic key items. Um, I picked the set up, the gazebo set up for a dollar at a garage sale. It was incomplete and it had a bunch of other play sets, pieces and parts mixed in with it. So we're going to first off look at the big money bolos and then I'm going to go in and show you how I parted it out. And one item has already sold. So these are some of the big money bolos. This is a pre-owned Magic Key Mansion. I am not verifying if these were paid for, if they actually um, were relisted, anything like that. This is more gonna be about how I parted out my listing, but I just wanna kind of scroll through here and show you what some of the different things look like. And these would be the big money bolos. This here went for $63. This would have been a great lot to purchase and part out. Um, because there is a lot of stuff there and it went for $63. Now the shipping kind of added quite a bit to that. But let me just kind of show you here what's going on. And then we're going to go into my listings and what sold. So here are just some of them. I'm just filtered by highest to lowest. Just to give you an idea. Now, if I put in replacement into the title, here are some other solds. This right here, this person would have done better parting these items out. Now, here's the problem. If you are impatient and you want to sell it fast, this would be your option. If you're like me and you're very patient. All right, Bolo Buddies. So I'm screen recording from my phone and Donatella Bottolino just went live on Whatnot. So you're going to see a little thing pop down that says she is live on Whatnot. So you know what? I thought this would be a great opportunity to tell you to go follow her on Whatnot. She is just Donatella over there and she is Donatella Bottolino on YouTube. So definitely check her out. I will link her down in the description. She sells to resellers. 
If you want to shop and buy on whatnot, there is a link down in the description. If you click on that link and join, it is a referral link and you will get $15 to shop. So definitely uh, go down there, click on that link and join and use that $15 to maybe source something to buy and resell. Kind of what we're talking about in this video. Gent, um, you can part it out and really maximize your profits. Here is my listing that sold. This sold very, very quickly. Um, and it's just from the nursery. And I don't even know what part it is. I was just able to figure it out by um, searching other solds and Google Lens. So look, this piece right here sold for 15. I don't know what this one is. That looks, that's Imaginex. I don't know why that's there. But here's like the little nursery. Definitely could have parted that out down lower. These are two little tiny pieces, $13.95, okay? So is there money in parting it out? Yes. Do you have to be patient? Are these items more long tail? Yes. Okay. So here again is the one that I sold. And this is from 1988. So these are older toys, harder to find. So that is the one I sold. I sold it for $16.25. I believe they were all in with tax and shipping for around $24. All right. So here is how I parted it out. I have three of these gazebo posts. There's three of those. So I just did a multi-quantity listing on that. I've got the gazebo top. I have the key and the doll right here. So this goes with the gazebo set. This key moves her around. She has a little magnet on her. I've got the clock, the railing, um, just different pieces. I'm even going to try to sell the instructions. All right. So these are all different parts and pieces that came in my box. This right here is the, um, it actually plays music. And I did put a um, video in my listing that shows that it works and how it works. This one, I probably could have parted out into smaller lots, but I'm just gonna price it high and hope that maybe somebody comes along and wants the entire set. Those are nursery pieces. This right here, I could not identify. I don't know which place that it goes with. I don't know which part it is. So I left it very generic and just put replacement parts and pieces. Somebody that's looking for this piece is going to probably type in precious places replacement, and this is going to come up and then they're going to find the item. I do have a couple keys. I do have these priced on the higher side. So um, we'll just kind of see how it goes. These have magnetic bottoms. So the uh, pieces that have the magnets on them, I did price a little bit higher. And like I said, just going to see how it goes with these. But I paid a dollar for everything. And this one piece sold for $16.25 plus shipping. So already made my money back. Already a fantastic um, return on my money. All right, Bola Buddies. So is parting things out for everyone? Absolutely not. But something like that, it's not going to take up much space. I got over 20 listings out of it. I paid a dollar for it. And as you saw in the video, I showed you the three things that I've already sold. Um, I released that video on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel about six months ago. So in six months, only three items have sold. So again, this isn't for everyone. But if you are a patient reseller, and if I lowered my prices, they may sell quicker. Uh, kind of depends on what the competition is. And it really takes the right person to come along and find the item. But can you source on Mercari? Absolutely. Is Mercari a great place to uh, buy things, to resell? Sure. Do you have to be patient and really look just like anything else? Like if you're sourcing on eBay or Poshmark, you have to find the right deal and make sure you're going to make money. But it is possible. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I wanted to share this video with you guys because, again, parting things out is a great way to make money. A lot of people part out games. And one thing that's great about parting out games is you find a game, you list an item. So let's say you list the dice of the game. Oh, I'm trying to think of a game. Okay, I got a good one. I got a good one. Somebody recently messaged me and they're like, I have a vintage mouse trap game. Should I part it out? Uh, the box is damaged. I can't remember if they said it was, I think they said it was incomplete and the box was damaged. 
So what would I do? I would part it out. I actually had a mousetrap game and um, <laughs> I listed it as incomplete because when I was checking it, I threw the rubber band away because I thought the rubber band was just thrown in there. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, the rubber band's a part of the game. So mine had everything except for the rubber band that I threw away because I didn't know that it was a part. So I ended up, I got that at the Goodwill bins and I was planning on parting it out, but the box was in good condition. All of the pieces were there. Um, it still had some of the like the inserts that they just looked great. And I'm like, I can't part this out. So I listed it as is, but somebody messaged me and they just wanted that white ball. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't because I knew if I sold them that white ball, I was going to have to part the thing out. And again, like I'm putting out a video a day right now. I'm trying to get my Goodwill bin stuff listed. Ah, everything's kind of crazy. Um, so working, 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 working hard. Um, getting lots of stuff up on eBay right now. So uh, check out the links down in the description if you want to join Mercari and Poshmark. Um, I do start my items on eBay and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly. There's also a video down below that tells you how to do that. If you're interested in cross posting, you will find that on Poshmark and Mercari, sometimes items sell for more than they would on eBay. So I highly recommend cross posting different eyes on your items. There's people that shop just on Mercari and just on Poshmark. They don't even go to eBay. So um, you're missing out on those buyers. Um, is cross posting for everyone? No, but do me a favor, check out the video that's linked down in the description. If it looks like something you would use, um, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's gonna get you 30% off your first month. I have been using it since 2019. I will say that lately I have been so crazy busy. <laughs> I have been so crazy busy that I have been slacking a little bit. And I have um, been pushing myself this past couple weeks to really just try to get some stuff on the other platforms. And I'm all, already seeing an uptick in my Poshmark sales. So, you know, it's just like, I feel like eBay. If you don't list, you don't sell as much. And a lot of times it just kind of kicks your store into the algorithm. I don't know. So um, something to think about uh, if you don't want to cross post, if you're new to eBay and you're just starting, don't, don't get too crazy. Learn eBay. <laughs> That's where you're going to make the most money in my opinion. Now, some of you that sell on Mercari as your main platform or Poshmark as your main platform, you may disagree with me. And please let me know in the comments and everybody go look at the comments because we are all different and we all sell different things. So what somebody else is selling may do better on one of those platforms or they may have more items on one of those platforms. I have more items on eBay. I have not cross posted every single item that I have on eBay to the other platforms yet, but I do have, uh, I want to say... 3,000 ish items on Mercari and Poshmark. So I do have more on eBay, but um, I sell way more on eBay. I mean, there is just no comparison. Um, I did my shipping today and most of my items were from eBay, but I did have four or five sales from Poshmark, but nothing from Mercari. But then there'll be other days where eBay's slow and Poshmark and Mercari will pick up the slack. So I think cross posting is important for that very reason, not having all your eggs in one basket. Um, days are slow on certain platforms. I feel like on eBay, I'll have a day where I will just like sell a couple things and I'm like, what is going on? And sometimes it'll be two or three days. And then all of a sudden I'll have a amazing day. And I'm like, there has got to be something to this. And then there'll be days where I'm like, I just sold two items that were listed on the same day. So it makes me feel like eBay puts us into some sort of algorithm, but I don't know what it's based on because two items that I listed on the same day sold on the same day. Like there's got to be something to that. I don't know, maybe not, but has anybody else experienced that? Let me know down in the comments. All right, now I'm just rambling. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you think this video was helpful. Um, I had that video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. If you guys are not following me there, definitely check it out. I don't put a whole lot of content over there, um, but I do, I'm trying to do better and at least getting up some hashtag shorts, giving you guys some tips and tricks or maybe the Bolo of the day. Um, may do more with it in the future, but right now I am swamped. So uh, I thought I would bring that video over to you guys here. 
put in the updates and give you guys a little peek at how I parted it out. Thanks for watching.